It's demo time. Once, tenacious teams battled head-to-head with defiant defenders to capture the highly coveted crown of Splatalot. With its glory days and guardians gone, will anyone protect the palace from spirited smashers? Where are the defenders now? What goes up must come down. Subscribe to Uncharted Travel! Will it crumble? Will it crack? Will it splinter? Or will it smash? A lot. Hello and welcome to the slowly decomposing carcass of Splatalot. I'm Jason Agnew. And I'd say decomposing carcass is a bit much. Let's call it a fixer-upper. It needs more than fixing up. Agree to disagree. Agree? Agree. Agree. Is this shack under attack? It's a shack attack. No, it's the wiring. One of the many reasons the castle has to be demolished. Well, I used a licensed electrician. Tinkor did your wiring? He's a lovable buffoon with a 20% discount promo code. From the looks of this, we're hitting the slippery slope today. Hitting it hard. And here comes our next smasher. Now, meet Brennan Evangelist. He seems like the lead in a teen vampire show. Nah, he's just a nice regular guy. See? Hmm, maybe a little too regular. <laughs> Brennan's got his own film company, Bright Sun Films, and he visits old and abandoned locations all over the world. Bright Sun Films. He's clearly compensating for something. Let me check this abandoned computer to see if I can find the name Evangelist on the known vampire database. There's an online database for that? Yeah, it's the dark web. There's something not right about this Mr. Evangelist. He's just a guy named Brennan. And I'm sure that was just the wind. What is up, guys? Today we are going to be smashing round two of Splatalot with about 5,000 pounds of cement. So without further ado, let's get to smashing. The second round of Splatalot is the first order of business for Brennan. And wh what are you doing? <laughs> this isn't my first rodeo. Hey, honestly, the electrical and the wolves, some fixer upper you got here, pal. Sorry, I can't hear you with the garlic. Thank right. You. Looks like the cement blocks are in place. Let's get ready to smash. Three, two, one. Wait for it. Smash. Release the hounds. Brett drops a 5,000 pound payload. It just went straight through. And punches a hole right through the defender's route to the top of the slope. That was awesome. Never trust a man without a shadow. He's standing in total shade. Oh, so he's hiding from the sun? Yeah, that checks out. Do you feel good about yourself right now? You know, I, I do. Okay. Brennan names his cement blocks at the next target. I think we can do better, so now we're going after the Defender Tower over there. No, not the Defender Tower. And up go the blocks. Banish that thought, demon. Three, two, one, smash. And he unleashes 5,000 pounds of cement on the Defender Tower. Oh my god. That was insane. Whoa, that was insane. Uh, ish. What do you mean, ish? Uh, he missed? Don't pretend you weren't thinking it too. All right, all right. It does appear in the photo finish that Brennan fell a little short of his target. And the tower still stands. I just gave it a wee trim. He's scary even when he miscalculates. Gildar, take that. Take what, Nosferatu? The tower laughs at your morbid marksmanship. <laughs> this is probably how the tower would laugh. I don't think Brennan's finished. We're finishing off with the iconic archway of the slippery slope. So without further ado. Again with the further adoos. Five. And again, with the countdown Three, to total destruction. Two. Or two, just one, a wee trim. Smash. This isn't happening. Oh. Oh. 
It just went right through. Cold steel through my heart. Oh, Jordan, the memories are flooding. The good times defending that castle. There should be a montage here. Yep, we'll throw it in. The slope was a huge undertaking when we ran out the kingdoms of the second season of Splat Lab. Tinker installed a self-sliming feature. It was a little thing, but we really came to appreciate it. Let's take an admiring look at the smash of the day. Great, now it's not even wheelchair accessible. Oh, now it's not. Stop with the music! Better. As twilight approaches, let's look back at Brennan's journey. Brennan overwhelmed the defender's access point before carving a coffin-sized hole in the tower. And finally, biting into a major artery on the slippery slope. Why are you talking like that? You know what? Every good smash deserves a trophy. And I think I got my eyes on something over there. This looks like it'll do perfect. There's nothing like smash a lot. Yeah. I see it. He's a regular guy, Gildar. Don't worry about Brennan, Gildar. I mean, he did seem totally normal. He's a nice guy, Gildar. Stop getting upset, Gildar. You're just being a paranoid Viking. Tune in for the next episode of Smash Lot. It's coming right up. Just say his name in the mirror three times, no, Gildar. Don't do that. What could happen? Hey, don't do that. Brennan, Brennan, no, Brennan! No, no, no. Ah! I can see myself. Did you have tzatziki? Love it. Love Greek food. <laughs>